How can everywhere be burning whilst everywhere is flooding? Why should I have hope when we're teetering on an edge? And the ones who can do something hide their heads in a hedge. Maybe the system we have is rigged. Washing hands of the crimes they commit. Staying distant from the horror stories they commissioned whilst isolating the victims. Glitter so pretty it suffocates the sea and vanity of fruit comes before the honeybee. Oh no, this will all change after COP26, but let's save the world and build a brand new oil rig. I close my eyes and dream of myself as I look through my rosy sunglasses in a state of overwhelm and I see a sign that reads, Welcome to the new world. Pictures of smiley walks and a litter-free beach, wind blowing the pages of a book in someone's hand, little children jumping through sand in their bare feet. Salty scents and hair strands fly around my face. Wave sounds get quieter and so do the children's screams. Although there's a swelling tune of the van that sells ice cream. Shade shows the shadows of the big trees above, with flying shapes of cooing collared doves. Leaves allow little peaks of the sun, foxglove flowers open up for spring. Bird song chimes like when the church bells ring. No one person is treated like more than the other. No one person is less than another. another. Orange juice in bookshops and strolls through a town. Access is a right, not a few good little add on. Nothing about us without us, and human rights aren't let down. No, 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 no. no more dinghies carrying children sinking at dawn, working from home and meeting calls on Zoom. There's no pressure to take up less room. Money isn't tight, and no one's turning the heating off at night. Food banks are a thing of the past, and we've got industries that can really last. So I put my hands up to the sun and make shapes in the shadows on the ground. I look round and then I open my eyes and hope that something is done.